coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Francis Ngannou. All right, so here is the heavyweight power threat, Francis Ngannou. Couple of outliers on his resume, the weird fight against Derek Lewis, but he came back in a big way. Back-to-back -back knockouts of Curtis Blades and Cain Velazquez that put him right back into heavyweight title contention. If you're a fan of the sport and you see a young fighter like Francis Ngannou, that's exactly the type of response you want from him when he had a rough go. Go back to the drawing board. Come back re-motivated. Focus on the task at hand. Start knocking people out. Get back. Use what got you to the show in the beginning. In the knockout of Blades, in the knockout of Kane, show that Francis Ngannou is once again ready to move himself back into title contention. And his knockout of Alice Drovering in 2017, the knockout of the year, Spaceship. according to most. Spaceship. Overeem still in orbit. Yes, he is. He has to be. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height, but big differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and God! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the... Chuck Liddell! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner.
So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be caught in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Francis Ngannou. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real nice body kick land. Slips the punch. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Fidel gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick lands. Hook to the body, blocked by and got it. Just misses with a left hook there. 26 total strikes have landed for Francis and Ghana. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Liddell gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Slips the punch. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Chuck Liddell. The Iceman gets crushed with that hook. Oh, that's a good strike there by Chuck Liddell. Big shot to the head. Good fight here under two to go. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels awfully good. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Put out Dos Santos, and he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of its martial arts. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And Goner's overhand punch to the head doesn't get there blocked by the defense. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Straight to the body by Chuck Liddell. Nice straight right lands. Liddell gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Single collar tie now. Just out of range with that strike. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Oh, straight right. Final seconds of round one. 
And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice jab. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. I'm just... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Jab snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. The Predator get tattooed by that stiff jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Ooh, what a punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Ngannou's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ended. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. Right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, single collar tie here. And a knee. Oh, nice work there with the knees. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his call. Oh, he's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. There's no tell on that leg. Oh! And they separate. Good stick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and he caught the kick. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. An uppercut in it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is 
getting lit up right now, John. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the bottom. Oh, yeah. Back to the feet. Oh! Well, he needs to start looking to finish on because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, nice job to win. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, massive diving punch. Flush to the head. Liddell's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Oh, wow. That happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Francis Ngannou. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Liddell gets up, he is back up. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Three minutes to go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed it. Oh. What a fantastic strike. Oh. He didn't like that. Okay. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh! In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Ngannou. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight.
I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.